Hello and welcome back to the channel. An another story of the progressives becoming so progressive that they become regressive. Where we have this uh, story today of Joan of Arc to be portrayed as non-binary and questioning the gender binary in her new play, I, Joan. Yeah, you heard that right. One of the uh, traditional um, female heroes, a absolutely representation for women, and not just a made-up character, but an actual real-life character who, yes, she was actually a woman. She was a woman, she was a real person, and it's extremely disrespectful for the Globe Theater to suddenly decide to recast her as non-binary so that they can get fucking wokey points, but... This is the bullshit world that we live in. So let's get into the story. The continuing march of modern day critical gender theory has claimed yet another victim. This time, a new play from Shakespeare's London Globe Theater is to portray historical French icon, Saint Joan of Arc as a non-binary individual who finds her strength by questioning the gender binary. Now, this is an absolute insult to women everywhere. This is an absolute insult to feminists everywhere who this was a woman who led an army at a time when women weren't allowed to do fucking anything, all right? They weren't even allowed to own shit, okay? This, this woman decided that, no, this shit's not going to happen. The fucking damn English pigs are not going to invade my, you know, and I'm just saying that because that's, that's who they were to her, all right? These pigs are not going to invade my area. They're not going to invade my home. They're not going to invade my country. And I'm going to do what I can to repel them. So good for her, right? Oh, nope, not so good anymore. Now we've got a Joan of Arc, Joan of Arc reimagine. Yeah, we've got, what if? What if Joan of Arc was actually not a woman? How great is that for women everywhere? Well, it's not that great. You know who else this isn't great for and who it's extremely disrespectful for? It's disrespectful to Catholics. Yes, that's right. Joan of Arc is actually a saint. Saint Joan of Arc. And a lot of people who are religious are deeply offended by this as well. Well, I guess if uh, Joan of Arc was a Muslim icon, then maybe it wouldn't be okay. But since it's just Catholicism, well, fuck them. We don't give a shit about them anyways. That's right. That's that's the whole awoke approach to take. Um, as long as it's uh, as long as we don't offend the Muslims, we're okay. We don't want to offend them, but let's offend uh, any kind of modern Western religion. That's okay. We don't give a shit about them. Written by British playwright and actor Charlie Josephine, whose bio notes that they are particularly passionate about stories that center on working class women and queer people. Well, apparently not that much because you weren't allowed to have a working class woman in this. You wrote her out of the fucking play. I, Joan is described by its creator as a powerful and joyous new play, which tells Joan of Arc's story anew. Yes, it's a completely new telling of her story where she isn't Joan of Arc. The men are all fighting again, of course, because that's what men do. Uh, it, uh oh, look, white men, cis white men, they must be fighting or they must be evil. Okay, so check woke. We got our wokey check mark in there. Check uh, begins an official synopsis, synopsis of the play. An endless war. Um, you know what? There were people that were good in this and there were people that were bad in this. I always believe that if you're defending your homeland from people who are aggressors who are outside of that, then that's okay. That's noble. Uh, rebelling against the world's expectations. Uh, you know, young, poor, and about to spark a revolution. This is Joan rebelling against the world's expectations, questioning the gender binary. Look, that has nothing to do with what happened, right? And I don't mind if you want to come up with your own play, which is loosely based on Joan of Arc, but not Joan of Arc, like create your own fucking story, right? It, we can see that maybe you based it loosely around Joan of Arc, but you came up with something else. And this person finds a way to bravely, stunning and bravely, of course, uh, question the and rebel ag against the gender binary. But at the end of the day, look, most people are born either one sex or the other. All right. That's all. <laughs> That's all there is to it. We've covered this in previous videos. Biology, all right? You're going to be XX, you're going to be XY. There are a few rare cases where you're XXY or you're XYY, and those are very rare genetic issues of non-disjunction. And those things even have a name. They are diseases. 
I'm not making this up, people. That's what they're considered. Those are considered a genetic disease. But let's continue on this stunning and brave adventure that we're going on here. Join us in the wooden O and feel the heat of the sun and the pulse of Joan's passion. What she's passionate about? Being neither a woman or a man. <laughs> with open hearts and raised voices, dance and cheer with us as we rediscover Joan's story. You meant to say, reimagine Joan's story, concludes the synopsis. It's alive, it's queer, and it's full of hope. At the end of the day, no one knows uh, what Joan's predilections or her sexual identity was. Does it even fucking matter, though? That's the really important thing. Does it have anything to do with why she fought to save her homeland? Or was she simply trying to defend her family, her friends, and her country from people who were invading it? It's not like, you know, if we can relay this to another war that's taking place right now, where one country hasn't invaded another, it's not like the Ukrainian army is out there saying, hey, you know what? This is for all the non-binary people. I'm doing this because I'm breaking down the gender identity roles and I'm fighting the Russians because of that. No, it has nothing to do with that bullshit. It simply has to do with the age old need, desire, and want to protect your family, protect your friends, and even protect your country. But that's something that these woke sons of bitches wouldn't know any fucking thing about because they hate everything. They hate who they are. They hate uh, so much that they have to identify as something else. They hate their country usually so much so that they, they can't be bothered to show any kind of respect for their flags or for the ceremonies or the traditions that their country has. I, I'm so tired of this shit from these people. They're just fucking ridiculous. And they're a bunch of jokes. And look, we all know what this is all about. This is simply trying to fucking reprogram everyone. And I, I would just say, don't fall for it. Want to know why? Because at the end of the day, it makes sense to me why J.K. Rowling is on such a war path against basically what I would call the trans feminists, right? The people who are not biological women, they're actually men. And, you know, she got it right. Like even the fucking uh, swimming authority, uh, what are they called? Even USA Swimming has announced these new policies for transgender people trying to compete, right? And even they realize the realities of this situation. So here's what it boils down to. J.K. Rowling was actually right in saying, look, this is harmful to women to try to pretend that people who are biological men are actually women and actually understand what it is like to be a woman. I can't argue that. And just like J.K. Rowling can't argue that she has no idea what it's like to be a man. Now, she can suppose things and she can say things and, and everybody can cry about the fucking patriarchy. And I still remember the day that they pulled us all aside as young men and actually gave us our fucking cards. And it was our patriarchy cards. They, they corralled us. They separated us from all the girls. They took us in a separate room. They told us it was always very, this is very, very hush hush. You can't tell everyone is. They gave us our patriarchy cards. They gave us all our little power pendants, and now we get to use our patriarchy power anywhere and everywhere that we want to. Yes, that's actually how it works. You fucking people are ridiculous. Absolutely fucking ridiculous. That's who these people are. They're ridiculous. This, All of this is ridiculous. This is this whole thing about trying to take a traditional feminist icon and basically neuter her so that she is no longer a she, so that she can now be non-binary and represent someone else. Look, if you gotta fucking steal other people's uh, stories uh, to give yourself representation, then you're doing a shitty job, all right? You're being shitty to everyone else. Come up with your own stories, come up with your own original content, and I don't give a fuck, it's fine then. Come up with your original stuff and tell overall, first and foremost, Tell a good story. Second, have good character development. And third, you can insert any kind of uh, social messaging you want then. And I tr trust me, if you get the, the storytelling and the character arcs done and you get that nailed, then people really aren't going to notice the social messaging. You make it very, very uh, subliminal even. And people won't notice. They'll just accept it. 
That's how they accept the programming. They accept the programming when they don't even know it's programming. But you people are so fucking stupid. You're so fucking incompetent that you make it obvious that you're doing the programming. You're incompetent. You're idiots. That's what it boils down to. Anyways, what are your thoughts on them basically taking a Catholic saint, making her non-binary and making the apparently the actual motivation for her fighting was to fight gender identity uh, constructs or whatever. What do you think about this ridiculous? No, let me know down in the comments below. In the meantime, if you want to continue to smash the narrative, then smash the like, subscribe, and share buttons, and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. If you want to support the channel, head on over to buymeacoffee.com slash brettsamashi and show your support.